sorry about that. Well, I lost my, I couldn't, you know, switch my camera around. But anyway, this is the awesome piece I found at um, Habitat for Humanity yesterday. Um, it looks like it had some hooks here for like a coat hook or something. Um, I might put some coat hooks back or just like a knob and hang purses. I don't know if I want to do it over the the decorative pieces or go back in the same two pieces or the same areas here. But what I was thinking was I was going to um, just go over it with my Waverly chalk paint in white and then take some sandpaper and de-stress it. So what I am going to do is um, put a first coat paint on it because I can't find my cell phone um, holder to hold you guys up while I paint. I will need both hands. So I will pause and be back in just a few minutes. Well, I just wanted to come back on. I started with... <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I started with a stenciling brush. Thought I could get into the cracks here, which kind of worked. But I had to move to a cheap little foam brush, which is taking a little bit longer. Um, it's going to take a couple coats. Um, it's really pretty. I love that I picked this up. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I got this for $3 at Habitat for Humanity yesterday. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so farmhouse. Um, and I knew I wanted to paint it white right away, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. It does have um, hooks on the back already, so it was hanging up. Um, it just makes it um, look so amazing painting it white. I'm not sure if I'm going to do more than one coat or not. I will see how I like it. I probably will do a couple um, just because my paintbrushes, you can see, are breaking <laughs> and I have more over there. But I think I might, because I don't like the brush strokes like that, um, and I don't, I cannot find my good paintbrush right now. So I'm thinking this might take a little bit longer. Um, and I'll let it dry and I'll see how I like it with one coat and just doing, you know, not that much. And if I need another coat, I might, but then I'm going to sand it down and um, I'm trying to get as much off my brush as possible. Because, well, that worked really well. Just trying to paint it and get it all painted so you guys can see what it looks like. That's a lot easier. Some of that extra paint. Um, and then I'll have to get up here in the nooks and crannies with my small detailed brush, which really worked the best. So I'm just trying to get up in here and then maybe put a little wax on it to give it that brown age look also. But I just wanted to come on and show you <laughs> that's a pretty sad brush already. There. Um, how this is going. So yeah, I am super excited. Yeah, I think I might, since it's such a big piece. 
I'll probably put a couple more coats on it. And see how it looks. And come back and de-stress it a little bit more with you. So just give me a second. Hey everyone, I'm back. So I did a little bit of a coat and a half or so. I kind of like where the dark is coming out. But we'll see. The paint's not 100% dry. So now I'm going to take my um, Waverly uh, wax and take my small um, stencil brush. Oh, <laughs> put way too much on there. Um, and I want to dab a bunch off because my brush. Um, and I want to just dry brush this on. It's getting about. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. <laughs> you can see the underneath my table. Um, <laughs> hot mess day, right? What are you going to do? So I just wanted to kind of come back and, you know, bring in some of these um, raised areas. And uh, show you the technique it does. It just makes it very antique looking um it uh muffles i guess the white it's not as bright i kind of like oh, my white's not really 100 percent dry over there but you see the technique i'm gonna just dip a little then try to I'm not used to using this tiny tiny brush that's still a little too much but I'm just gonna and then see now I got way too much there because of an edge of my brush I didn't dab off that much so I'm gonna come back and dab and I'll just take the paint from that area and you can't even tell my mistake um, another thing you could do is if you see this and like ooh, that's way too dark you could always come back with your Waverly white um, If you don't like that technique, you could always brush it on too. It's kind of difficult while I'm <laughs> trying to paint and film, but hey, beginners, right? I'm just loving the way this looks. It's so hard to tell on camera, as we all know. Um, like I said, my Waverly White chalk paint is not 100% dry because I am not patient. But I would like to show you a little bit of this technique sorry about that my hands in the way it's not really an easy way of doing this well that one turned out really cool I just think it looks very Victorian very farmhouse um, but Hopefully it can dry now. 
and I can uh, hang it up and then I will post a picture of where I hang it after I'm done painting. I'm thinking my bedroom for like my purses and stuff but I'm really liking the way it turned out. The best say this to my husband all the time, the best buy ever. The best thing I've ever bought for $3. And it doesn't even look like, oh, I don't know why somebody would have just trashed this. But anyway, there you got the uh, scoop of things. A little bit more detailed. I'm going to go back up there. This video is getting a little long for just one project since I'm not 100% positive on all the video stuff yet. But it is, I'm going to let it dry a little bit better because I'm actually, if you can come in closer, I'm actually um, peeling up the white paint and that's not a look I like. So I'm going to let it dry completely and I will post a picture on the Barnyard um, Studios Facebook page after it is all complete and hung. Thanks. And if you like this video, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It will help my channel grow and see you in the next video.